All right, park junkies, look at that. We have out here all this fall color, mountains, sand dunes, and a brilliant four-wheel drive trail that we're gonna cruise up today to Madano Pass here in Great Sand Dunes National Park. Yeah, that's right. Me, Frankie, Frankie and I headed north. Let's go. All right, friends, welcome back to Park Junkie. What's up, Todd C here today. Great Sand Dunes National Park out here in uh, central Colorado. We're gonna try to drive up over the pass uh, through the uh, Sangre de Cristo Mountains here in the Tacoma. But first we're gonna play around the sand dunes a little bit and uh, get our feet sandy. So without further ado, let's jump into Colorado's Great Sand Dunes National Park. Let's roll. All right, friends. Well, after a stop here at the uh, visitor center in Great Sand Dunes, decided to drive over the Madano Pass Road. Quick conversation with the ranger uh, led me to pick up one of these guides to the drive. 22 miles right across the pass up there, uh, the Madano Pass in, in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Taking you over to Colorado Highway 59 or 69 on the other side. Can't remember the number. We'll find it. We're ready to roll. Let's go. So if you're driving this to Madano Pass Road, there are sandy sections out there. You may want to air the tires down. If you do, as soon as you exit here at the uh, Juniper Campground, right there at the beginning of the Primitive Road, there is an air station over here so you can uh, air the tires back up. I didn't deflate the tires, but I'm going to put some air in my airbags to lift this camper up just a bit higher for some of those strange little sections that I might encounter. So air station, big bonus. All right, well, this is the beginning. You kind of come just south of the Juniper Campground there. Point of no return right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, wow, this is pretty drastic here. Let's go. All right, as we're going down the primitive road here, we pass right by the sand dunes. This is a massive section of sand dune out here in Great Sand Dunes National Park. Star Dune, the highest dune in the park at 755 feet in height. We can't see that right now. It's on off there and I'm certainly not hiking back up on the dune to find out exactly where it is out there on this trip. Although I do have some highlights from a few previous trips up here where I did indeed hike up into the dunes, but we're not doing that today. Fall here in the park, absolutely spectacular. Man, the leaf show here in Colorado has been absolutely stellar this time of year, early October. We got the leaves all turning golden yellow. Uh, we'll see what it looks like up here in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into back in there. We could get into some sick fall color though, some sick fall foliage. You can see some little people up there, way up there on the sand dunes, making their way up into the heights of Great Sand Dunes National Park. God bless them, I'm not going up there today.
cool. Heading up into the mountains. Yeah, pretty good trail, a little sandy, that deep sand. I did not deflate the tires because I don't have an air compressor on board. I will be getting one this year very soon because what a joy that would be to have right now. Entering the National Preserve now. All right, guys, so right at this point when you're driving out the Madano Pass Road, you'll come across this sign that tells you you're entering Great Sand Dunes National Preserve. If you plan on camping out here, you don't need a reservation or a permit or anything to camp up in the preserve. That's pretty wide open, roadside camping allowed, no permit necessary. Inside the park, going back toward the sand dunes themselves, you'll need an overnight permit to stay out that way. So yeah, this is the preserve and the park. We'll be camping out here somewhere tonight. I bet we find a pretty cool spot up here. Elevation's pretty high. We're at 8,200 feet right now. Leaves are changing on all the aspens. Sure is nice. Let's continue. So there are some nice campsites up here right along the road in the preserve. You can just pull in and camp for the night or two or whatever, I guess. I don't know. I imagine they probably have the classic 14 day limit so you can sit there perhaps for 14 days campsite number two and a stream crossing oh yeah wash out the undercarriage a little there after that mess i got into yesterday All right, so I've driven up in here once before, but I got shut down by this gate right here. However, it appears that the gate is open here in October, so we're cruising on through. up here yep that's the way that works there we go thank you brother enjoy man enjoy, boy, cheers little passage right here. Ooh. Frankie getting a little beat up right there. here in the sand folks have uh, kindly stacked plenty of roughage down there to gain a little extra traction it worked it wasn't pretty but it worked golden fall colors and a four-wheel drive trail through the woods
All right, we've came all the way up to campsite number 32 here. And I think we're just gonna call it good for the night. Um, I'm fairly level, not quite, but it's good enough for the, uh, for the camper. And uh, the view, pretty sick, huh? Yeah, got a little fire ring. I'm not gonna have a fire. I got a bear box back there to put the food in. I'm just gonna chill, get up in the morning, continue the road. We, at this point, have came 9.3 miles. So not very far, uh, quite a ways to go. And uh, that will be tomorrow. So with uh, that said, I'm gonna pop the top here and uh, get started on some dinner, have a beer and call it good evening from Great Sand Dunes. <laughs> All right, welcome to the great indoors. Got a little view out there this evening. Not bad, not bad. All around. But we're inside. It's getting a little chilly outside. Came in, cooked myself a meal. Look at that. Pork chop with salad. A little Costco IPA. Not the best, but it's definitely the most economical. Yeah. Anyway, um, dinner. Then rest, then tomorrow on over. We've got the ways to go. This road, um, 33, I think, somewhere in the range of 33 to 40 miles. Not exactly even sure. 22 miles from the visitor center to the pass, to the Madano Pass. And then from there, maybe another 10. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow as we uh, maneuver up and over the pass. All right. For now, dinner. Ciao. All right. Well, top of the morning to you all from here in Great Sand Dunes. Spent the night up here on the Madano Pass Road. Got myself some coffee and tea fixed up this morning. Getting ready to head out into the wilds this morning. Got a nice sunrise. Got a, got a couple of snapshots out there of the brilliant red clouds this morning that were floating about about 6.30 a.m., Looked at my watch, it was six in the morning, morning, morning. All right, I got the old camper put down. <clears throat> We're gonna jump out of here, head on up the road. I don't know, we don't have that far to go to get to the pass. It's somewhere back, back in there. I think we go back that way a bit. Uh, according to my altimeter, we got about a thousand feet to go still somehow to get to the pass. Let's see, let's go. Oh yeah, morning light here in the trees. Oh man, what a dream this place. Absolutely phenomenal. Look at that.
All right, well, a quick trip up the road puts us right here at the Madano Pass trailhead. There's a little campground right here with like two sites, I think. Put the truck over there so the uh, solar panel can charge while I'm out on a hike. And uh, with that said, we're taking off to go up to Madano Lake and Mount Harrard if we can. We can reach it. Busting out, it is currently 5 till 11, so 10.55 a.m. And we're headed upward. Quite a few thousand feet. I think it's about 1,800 to 2,000 feet, somewhere right in that range up to Madonna Lake. And then if I wanted to go on up Mount Harrard, I think that's another 2,000 feet. So we might have as many as 4,000 feet probably at minimum 3,500 feet to do Madonna Lake. So, left the truck at the campground, the campsite, I should say, and uh, we're headed upward. Let's go. Nice time of year to be hiking out here. I will tell you that. Temperature's still nice during the day, but the foliage off the hook. All right, gaining elevation here. Headed up above the Aspen line. We're in the Evergreens now. Tree line only a few hundred feet ahead. Took the opportunity to peel off my cotton shirt, put on a capoline here as we get in to this higher elevation. Running about 11,000, 11, 000, 11 right now. Got three, 400 feet to go till we get to Madonna Lake. So let's continue on the clouds of well, just a little bit of uh, overcast conditions right now. It's got it chilled off the wind coming up through here. A little brisk, so we're gonna continue. Let's go. All right, here we are. <laughs> That's Madonna Lake. Beautiful. Let's go right up on those rocks and perch there for a moment, shall we? All right, well, we're here at Madano Lake. We're about 11,500 feet. I'm gonna jump up onto this little perch right over here, kick back for a minute. This is game time. I'll make a decision on whether I wanna go for the summit back here. All right, from our perch here atop this rock, looking out on Madano Lake, up there, the blazing sun, that's 93 million miles away. Over here, we have Harard, Mount Harard, and that's about mm, probably a mile and a half to two miles away. About 2,000 feet, they say. We're going to go right up this, up that, and up this. Let's go. All right. A little bit of a footpath running up the ridge. Up to the ridge, I should say. Up 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 forever up
All right, well, we've reached this little basin here. And I think, I mean, I think you can go straight up this, but uh, I think the easier route is to go over here. I see a line going up that right there with uh, some Karens out here that are piled up. So looks a little more mellow, although it is a little longer. Let's do that, hey? All right, we've reached this nice ridge line in between these two little mountains here, right on up to Mount Harard in front of me here. Down here, Mar uh, Menard Lake, excuse me, uh, <laughs> Madano Lake and uh, Madano Creek right there with Madano Pass and the Madano Pass Primitive Road right over here. Back to the north, Oops, looking back in that way. We got some peaks back there, Milwaukee and Music Peak. Milwaukee at 13.5, Music 13.2. Those are the highest points of the park. We're gonna try to get out to those, but not on this trip. We gotta save something for next time, you know? This is Sand Creek down here, which leads out from Sand Lakes up in the northern section of the park. This leads out westward to the sand dunes themselves and the sand, ram, uh, the sand ramp out there which allows that water flow to just go down and wash a lot of the sand, which is blowing up into these mountains from the west. It allows that to get washed right back down into great sand dunes down there and the tallest sand dune system in North America. Right now, we're headed up the ridge here to 13,252, I believe the elevation on Mount Harard. So looking right at two o'clock, we got to keep rolling, kids, if we want to make this summit and get out of here at a reasonable hour and not get stuck up here in the stupid shit. Madano Pass, we came up this, Madano Creek. And then we zoom right on up this ridge. Out to the north, Milwaukee and Music Peaks out there. That's where the good shit is. But, Sand Creek right here, flowing down into the sand dunes, which are that away. We gotta get to the really good spot right here above the dunes. Mount Harrard, we're on our way. Oh yeah, right there, Mount Harrard, 13, 252, let's go. First view of some sand dunes there. All right, up here atop this ridge, going up to Harrard Peak. Gotta stay tack up here, otherwise this wind could blow me right off the mountain. I mean, look at that. We get blown right down to Madonna Lake. We don't want that, so we're gonna step back from the edge. Continue up the ridge line. All right, friends, we are nearing the summit here. Friends, right there, you're looking at the tallest sand dune formation on the North American continent here in central Colorado. 
That is Great Sand Dunes National Park. We are on top of Mount Harrard right now, looking down at that. Wow, look at that, 30 square miles of sand dunes laid out. These things blow across the San Luis Valley, accumulate right here, and then weather, water, and wind coming out of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains right here. That means the blood of Christ Mountains, El Sangria de Jesus Cristo. Right here in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, the weather comes out of these, the water and the wind comes out of this, blows them right down. They're trapped right here. Scientists estimate they've been here for some 440,000 years. All right, found a nice summit register up here, a little jar. This thing doesn't have a lot of notes in it. You can see that's not much, uh, uh, not much in the way of summiters here. Records going all the way back 2007. So yeah, it's good shit. All right, well, we're gonna make our way back down the mountain here. Leave the summit behind. There's a little summit pyramid. Pretty cool summit up here. But I'll admit in this wind up there, it is absolutely frigid. And I did not bring substantial layers to sit around in that kind of shit. So I'm gonna follow this little lead right back down the way we came, down to Madano Lake and back down uh, Madano Creek. All right, man, what a summit. That was pretty cool up there. Mount Harrard, man, what a trip. That was a burner going up. Sometimes I look at stuff like this after I do it and I come back down and on the way down, I look at it and I'm like, man, how did I ever do that? You know, but you just gotta go for it. Just keep going, you know, be conscious of your surroundings. But man, just when it starts burning and just know that there's the other side of that burn. It's fucking worth it, man. Every time. Yeah, nothing else makes me feel like that when I come back down, you know? Nothing. Nothing else makes me feel like that. I guess that's why I find the place so darn interesting. All right. Well, just sitting here taking a little break before we head on down Madano Creek, sitting here at um, Madano Lake looking up at Mount Harrard and that wild ridgeline we were on up there with that crazy cold wind. Man, I tell you what, standing up there on that ridgeline was absolutely frigid. Glad I got out of there. I didn't bring enough layers for that. I didn't really, I don't know, didn't have enough layers for that as we got the hell out quick. But um, nevertheless, back down here at the lake, man, I am always thankful for a nice trip like that right up the side of that mountain it was brilliant. Ridge line leading to the heavens right there, my friends. Man, gosh, coming out to these places like this is the best thing in the world, man. In my mind, you might have something else that's the best in the world for you, but for me, this is it. Man, I just can't get enough of it. All right, man, well, it's getting late. Time to roll. Got fueled up there, took a little break, sat here at Madano Lake, and just contemplated the universe. Now it's time to hit three and a half miles back to the Madano Pass campground down there, grab the truck and either camp or head out. Don't know yet, let's see, let's go. Back down these switchbacks. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for today. What a day, huh? Man, glad we made it to the top of the mountain. Didn't know whether that was going to be possible, but it turned out to be an incredible trail all the way. And then once we got up there uh, to um, Madonna Lake, I was like, oh, hell yeah, we're gonna go right up that ridge. What a trip. Let's get back here to the campground. Well, we are at the campground. Get back to the truck, pop up the top, cook something to eat, 
relax for a bit. I'm probably just gonna stay right here at the trailhead tonight rather than take off. It's getting kind of dark out there and uh, we're gonna call it good. So let's see what we've got back at camp here. Fix up some tasty grub and then we're gonna call it an early night. I promise you that. All right, well, day three here, top of the morning to you from up here at Madano Pass. Ooh, what a windy night last night. Colors are changing, fall is upon us and it is getting chilly up here at 10,000 feet. That's gonna about do it from here in uh, Great Sand Dunes. We're gonna head out the eastern side down to Highway 69, uh, finish the route down uh, the Madano Pass Road out to the east. Let's take a gander and see what that looks like this morning. Had a nice little dinner last night. <clears throat> Went to bed early, like 7.30. Got up this morning at 8.30, so oh, crushed some Z's last night. Um, got the truck packed up, tops down, ready to roll. Let's hit the road, yo. All right, well, here we are up at the pass. We're leaving uh, Great Sand Dunes National Preserve headed out into the National Forest on the other side. Chilling down quite a bit up here, overcast day. Looks like we have, uh, certainly have some weather coming in out here in Great Sand Dunes. So we're gonna skip out, head down east side, hit the highway, and uh, we'll make a decision as to turn right or left on that highway when we get there. So let's roll down and see what's happening down that way. All right, <clears throat> well, as we move down here on this network of roads, it is a network of roads. There's little campsites everywhere, roads going off in quite a number of directions out here. There's a sign back there going to some rainbow trail or something like that. I don't know. Um, we're just gonna continue heading down. Uh, and I'm sure we'll get to our, uh, we'll get to civilization at some point or at least a highway. Uh, yeah, there's an information sign saying this is bear country. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, friends, that's where we're coming from, right up in there. That's where we spent the night last night and the night before. Looking at the heights of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains, kind of socked in by weather right there at the moment. And uh, yeah, pretty glad to get out of there. We can't see anything up there right now. I'm glad we went up Mount Harard yesterday because today would suck. All right, so this is Highway 69 out here in Colorado. We have reached the eastern edge of County Road 559. That's the National Forest Road that goes up into the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Great uh, great sand dunes. Uh, National Preserve starts right up there at the Crest, Madano Pass, and then the sand dunes just directly on the other side of that. What a trip. That's gonna be it for Park Junkie out here in Great Sand Dunes National Park. We'll see you on down the line.